<clears throat> this book that's out is is quite incredible for a couple of reasons. I have been uh, uh, predicting for better than a year now that Condi Rice would jump in and run against Hillary for president. My wife thinks I'm crazy, but my wife, um, you know, she doesn't believe anything that I say, but she does believe Dick Morris. And so uh, this is a dangerous day where Dick Morris and I agree. I think more dangerous for Dick than anything else. Dick, how are you? I'm fine, but Phil, I wouldn't completely dismiss your wife's view that you might be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you're right on this one. You may be right. I may be crazy. Yeah. Well, uh, this is what I see. I see the perfect storm yeah. coming. And you, yeah. you got Condi out there who has been elevated from, uh, you know, an advisor to the president. And, uh, and then now she's secretary of state. And here's what here, and see if you go this far, Dick. Mm-hmm. What if Dick Cheney decides, well, sure. because of health reasons, I'm going to step down? And Condi Rice comes in as vice president, and then for the last year, she's vice president, and then she goes and yeah. runs for president. I think that's a very possible scenario, particularly today with this indictment. Uh, if Libby is indicted, and if he is indicted for lying to a grand jury, so far those both look likely, and if the lie that he told was to tell the grand jury that he learned Valerie Plain's name from a journalist, When the New York Times reported that he learned it from Dick Cheney, the question I ask is why for two years did the vice president let him go around in public saying that, and when he testified before a grand jury about it, and Cheney read about that testimony in the papers, why didn't he correct it, since he knew that that was a false statement? So you're saying that Cheney may be forced to resign because of that? Well, I think that's that's a... That's a a long reach at this point, but there certainly is a possibility, and I think if he does go, I think that Bush will probably nominate Condi. Um, In any case, I think that the point is, and the thesis of my book, Phil, is that only Condoleezza Rice can defeat Hillary Clinton. Uh, White men are going to vote against Hillary two to one, but they maxed out. You know, unless you live in Chicago, you can't vote twice. (laughs) <laughs> and, and so maybe they get 68, 69% against Hillary, but, you know, they're pretty well maxed out. White women are the moving piece in our politics. Bush broke even among white women against Gore, and he lost the popular vote. But he carried them by 14 points against Kerry, and that delivered the election to him by three and a half points. So I think that Hillary is going to win the white female vote. She'll obviously do better among white women than Gore did or Kerry did. And I think that that's going to give her the election. And I think when, if, when the first woman runs for president, you're talking about a demographic election, because obviously that's going to overshadow everything else. But the minute you look at Condi Rice as a Republican running against her, all of a sudden the issue isn't, are we ready for a woman? The issue is, which woman? The one whose entire career has been derivative of her husband's success, going in his wake, or the kind of woman that made it entirely on her own? Uh, a woman with no national security experience or a woman who, who has uh, helped keep us safe for all of this time. Right. Um, a woman who writes about education but has never taught a class versus a 12-year hands-on college professor and for six years a provost of a major university, University of Stanford. Condia win those comparisons. And then in addition, I think she circles around the Democratic line and has a very good chance of drawing a third of the African-American vote. Um, I don't think Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton and Louis Farrakhan are going to support her. No, because it's but not I, about race. It's about, about ideology with these folks. So. But I do feel that African-Americans, particularly younger ones, women, uh, people who, uh, who are professionals, I think are going to look at Rice and they're going to say, this is a role model for my children, uh, which means that there would be no ceiling on my child's future. And I think that that's going to be a very, very potent appeal and will lead to a reorientation of the African-American vote back toward the Republican Party like it was after Lincoln. But this is the place, though, Dick, that I, that I see that she may be weak. And I love Connie. And I think, I, I, you know, I'm with you. I think that uh, this, this is very well going to happen. <clears throat> but she's never been married, has she? No. And uh, why is that? Do you know? Uh, I don't know. She was engaged to be married to a star on the Denver Broncos football team. And uh, the engagement was broken off by him, I gather, at the last minute. Um, somebody told me it might be John Elway, and I said, well, maybe he just made a pass at her. <laughs> <laughs> but you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I think that, um, but I think, but, you know, I mean, clearly she's not gay, if that's the question. Uh, and, well, not, uh, see, not even so much that, but I think do people are going to wonder about that. But listen, see, she doesn't have, she doesn't have children, she doesn't have a husband, and that's something that, that have people Hillary, relate to. Condi and Hillary are both single women. 
Hillary just has a <laughs> husband hanging around somewhere. But yeah, but she at least she can prop him up and, and have him there for photo ops. And yeah. Condi has nobody to put there. Yeah, I don't think that Hillary will defeat Condi on the strength of the of the um, of her, how wonderful her marriage is. What do you think? Well, let's, let's talk about that. Who do you think would win this matchup if, if it does Condi come to fruition? Condi would, because she would hold Hillary even among the female vote. She would win a large piece of the black vote. And the contrast between somebody who's made it entirely on her own, um, first in her class at University of Denver, graduating at 19, top of her class at Notre Dame with a master's, a Ph.D. in uh, University of Denver at 23, tenured professor at 26, uh, ran the whole German reunification negotiation herself uh, and the and the Soviet Union coming apart um, as the national security advisor, fluent in Russian, uh, fluent in French. She speaks the language of both of our adversaries, <laughs> and she <laughs> and then a uni- a chan- chancellor. I'm sorry, provost at the University of Stanford, uh, and then look at her record as Secretary of State in seven months on the job. She's gotten North Korea to forswear their nuclear ambitions. She's gotten the Sunnis to participate in the political process in record numbers in Iraq. She's gotten the Israelis to pull out of the Gaza Strip. She's got France, which used to have Syria as a colony, joining the United States to pressure the Syrians to stop sponsoring terror. She's got a global coalition united against Iran, no more go-it-alone stuff, uh, in dealing with the, uh, their nuclear ambitions. Uh, she's got our uh, base in Kazakhstan back open, which is key to Afghanistan. Uh, these are incredible rabbits to come out of hats. And American diplomacy is back. She's really taking the Bush agenda and implementing it without unilateralism. Well, as far as the black vote, though, Dick is concerned, I, I, I can't remember the guy's last name. Eugene, somebody who write, writes for the Washington Post, he wrote a piece a few days ago about how Condi was not um, black enough, I guess, and... and that she was sort of isolated in this world of uh, in, in Titusville, which is outside of uh, Birmingham, that she, uh, despite the fact that one of her best friends was killed in the yeah. church bombing. She, she was black enough to have her neighbor's house bombed by the yeah. Ku Klux Klan. Exactly. And Bull Connor refused to protect the neighborhood, and her father had to patrol with a the community with a shotgun That's on his right. lap. Uh, she was black enough to be segregated against her entire childhood. Um, so but I she think, doesn't seem to hold any animosity. I mean, she you no. know, she was in Birmingham last week, week before last. She says, you know, it's really changed since I was here, and she yeah. and she doesn't have a chip on her shoulder. No, but and, but see, she doesn't. Some of these folks like Jesse Jackson, this Eugene guy, uh, I think their motto, although they don't come out and say it, is is keep the anger alive, exactly. and and she doesn't do that precisely. So you're and, not just writing about this; you're advocating her her candidacy. Absolutely, because I feel that it's essential to stop Hillary. Mm. And the more I've come to know Condi's record, the more I'm in love with it. And, uh, well, what about, I mean, you and Hillary you used to, were you not friends with her at one point? No, I worked for her husband. Okay. And uh, the relationship between Hillary and me was never very close. And it's gotten uh, worse Bill since you've been writing books very, about her. <laughs> yeah, Bill and I were very close, and I still have a very high opinion of Bill. I was mm-hmm. with him about three weeks ago, and we're, we're still friends. And I think on domestic policy as opposed to domestic relations, he was a great president. <laughs> <laughs> and I fault him for his failures in the war on poverty after 9-11, who couldn't? Uh, but I do feel that there is a world of difference between Bill and Hillary. Bill is brilliant. Hillary's not. Uh, Bill is creative. Hillary's wrote. Bill is teeming with new ideas. Hillary's next new idea will be her first one. Uh, Bill is, a, uh, is an instinctual politician. Hillary's not. Bill loves people to love him and hates fighting. Hillary loves having enemies and keeps an enemies list a mile long. What kind of woman would hire a posse of detectives to check out the women her that husband was linked to, yeah. not to divorce them, not to reform them, but to cow the women into silence by blackmailing. Well, Dick, always a pleasure to spend time with you, and good luck on the book. It's very good. This was great. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Dick Morris. It's Condi versus Hillary.